Today, man, we have the Wrestling Figure Accessories More Hardcore 15-Piece Accessories Playset Ringside Exclusive. We're going to be unboxing it here today. Pretty plain Jane packaging. Nothing special here today, man. But we haven't reviewed one of these sets in a really long time, so I'm excited to get into this. I know that, you know, the, these are very fun for photography and bedding and all those different things, man. So if you guys want this pack, maybe it's something you want to look into. But on the back, it does have the contents of the box with a bunch of warnings and stuff. Small parts. Don't choke on them. Includes 2 by 4 with nails. Loose roll of barbed wire. Barbed wire bat. Barbed wire board, flaming 2x4 wrapped in barbed wire, bed of thumbtacks, handcuffs jar, trash can lid, urn, three-piece breakable tombstone, shovel, pizza cutter, light tube, and broken light tube. And apparently it's more hardcore. So we're going to open this thing up, see what it's about, see what comes in the box, and just kind of play it out and see how this thing deals. All right, man, so here's everything that we have. We have the weapons laid out here, as you guys can see there. Now, I will be honest with you. It does not come with this black table, so don't get ahead of yourselves there. I just felt like this was a better presentation than them laying on the ground, but I want to take you one by one through all the weapons. Some of this stuff we've seen before, maybe you haven't seen it before, but I think this pack is very cheap on ringside, which makes these packs really sought after. I can see why people would want these in their collection, because you can get a lot of weapons, you can get some playset activities, you can get some really cool things that add to your display, add to your collection really easy and it's pretty cheap for the value you get here because god is my witness man you go over to ebay you try to buy a lot of weapons they always overcharge man they always overcharge they always want these crazy ridiculous prices for weapons same thing with lots of figures man i swear to jesus man they uh, people don't know what the hell they're doing over there but i understand people think they have valuable things or whatever man but i'm just saying weapons specifically it's crazy man sometimes you'll get a deal on some figures but weapons man it's like one action figure chair or a shirt or just these different little items like a hat. It's like $10 for the hat, which I get that it's sought after and whatever. Uh, this is just turning into a dumb rant, but nonetheless, let's get into what we have here. Let's start things off with the biggest accessory. It's going to be this 2x4. This is not a 2x4, Brad. This is a platform or a pallet, a wood pallet with barbed wire attached to it. This is something we have seen before. We have many of these, and I like this. It's not breakaway or anything, but it's a good way you could... And this doesn't fall off, so it's tacked in there pretty good. You could throw superstars on there. They can get tangled up in it. I like this accessory. It is nice. On the back, you have it there, and it even has these holes in it that people can carry, so if you want to, like, carry somebody out, or you could, like, you know, nail it to a wall or do something like that, maybe that's something that you want to do, but this is a really nice accessory. I like this one a lot, and I did have it propped up on this table here, so I'm just going to lay that there. That's just something there. It doesn't come with that table either. It doesn't come with anything. This is the only, this is the biggest accessory it comes with, and every single piece of this pack does come individually packaged in this little clear bubble wrap stuff, but let's move on. Next up is the bed of tacks. Now, I have always always been one that has kind of, I don't know, haven't destroyed this accessory, but I've never been a fan of this accessory. I do like that you can see the tacks, you know, sticking up right there, but this doesn't look like a bunch of tacks to me. This looks like, I don't know, like freaking the Terminator 2. It looks like a melted symbiote of a Termi Terminator or something like that, man. It looks like a puddle. I don't like this, and I understand that you're kind of limited on how you can make tacks, and I get that, you know, you can't really mass produce something that looks like tacks, but I guess it works. It's just not my favorite way to do it. I've seen multiple people do different things for tax, and I think that those ways are much better than this. I just don't like this. Doesn't sell it well enough. I'd rather you just leave it out, but I, it is a good effort. I just have never been a fan of it, but it's a soft rubber pliable material. You lay it flat in the ring, you know, all that, and it looks like tax. So they say. Up next, they do have a breakaway tombstone or headstone here, and it doesn't go together very well, and it's, it kind of falls apart kind of easily, but you can't put this together here. I've never liked the, the breakaway headstones or tombstones just because I don't feel like, you know how damn heavy a tombstone is, Brian. If you hit somebody over the head with this, they're dead. I mean, this is, uh, and I know you could argue that with any weapon, right? If you hit somebody with a 2 by 4 of nails as hard as you could in the face, they might would die. But this right here, man, you are absolutely gone. You're cooked, Brad. You're absolutely cooked. You get hit in the head, just and it just, you're done. But it does fall apart quite easy here, and I've never been a big fan of this one either, but uh, it has a weird texture too. I just don't really care for it. I think, if you're going to use this, man, use it fully put together and put it up like the uh, near your Undertakers or something. I don't know. Use it for your buried alive matches or something, but I don't like it as a weapon, I guess. Up next, we have another 2x4 here, and it does have barbed wire wrapped around it. I like the sculpt here, and I do like the flame on top. It doesn't light up or anything. It is just a flat deal there. Kind of flat in the paint detail as well, but it's a good accessory, you know? I think we have seen this before. It's a lit on fire 2x4 with barbed wire, which is kind of cool. Kind of looks like a torch rather than a, you know, a weapon to me, but I still like it. I think this works for, for a good reason. And then we have another barbed wire accessory, which is the base 
baseball bat, which is a classic, and I like this too. I like the sculpt work right here, and it's pretty pokey, actually. You could probably stab somebody for real if you wanted to. This could absolutely cut you if you tried hard enough, I bet, but the color of it is really nice. I like the wood grain on the bat. It's a good scale and everything. I like this. You know, I think that we have seen this before as well. This isn't anything new to the pack, and it almost looks like a bunch of nails wrapped up, but the barbed wire does look really, really good here. Next up, we have one of my favorite accessories, I think, in the entire set. It is the 2x4, the black 2x4 with the nails in it, and I really like this one. I like the sculpts of this, and when I look at this, I think of MDT sold out. That's what I think of when I see this. I think of Dean Ambrose holding the 2x4 and that classic right there, and that is just what it reminds me of. Every time I see this accessory, it just kind of holds like a hardcore memory in my head, hardcore pun intended, but we do have the nails embedded in this 2x4, and I like it. I even like how you have the crooked nails in there and stuff, like where they've bent them. It's a really nice detail, and I think that this would do a lot of damage. This is a great accessory right here, man. That is actually when the bloodline was formed in that matchup back in the day, and that was crazy. That was a that was a great epic showdown right there. Probably hasn't aged too well, but I remember the match being pretty damn entertaining. Next up, we do have some handcuffs here with the chain in there, and this is a pretty good link. These may be a little long for handcuffs, but I think that they will get the job done. You know, you remove the hands off your superstar, you put them on there. We have seen them from Mattel, and I like these. They're good. And I always appreciate a good pair of handcuffs for, you know, different purposes in the hardcore matches. We also have a gunmetal gray trash can lid with some really nice detail and dry brushing on it, and I have owned a couple of these beforehand. They kind of remind, this kind of reminds me of the Jax versions. This has a very Jax feel to it. It's very stiff and everything. It's not pliable. It is a hard plastic, and it looks pretty good. I like this a lot as well. You can hold it. Superstars can hold it and whatever, but I, I dig it. I think this is a cool accessory to include. A classic staple of wrestling action figures and just wrestling in general. It also comes with a coil of barbed wire, so you can wrap it around any accessory or weapon that you would like. You can just hold the barbed wire and wrap it around a superstar's face, I guess. But it's pretty cool that we've been getting a lot of a lot of barbed wire from these figures. You think of the Sandman figure and things. Really long piece of barbed wire there. We have all these AEW and Mattel sets that we're getting the barbed wire here. And I like it, man. I like it. The more barbed wire, the better. So I, I always say that, you know? It's a staple of the things that I say. We also have a shovel here. It is kind of a short-handed shovel. Reminds me of a Jack shovel again. This is something we've seen before as well. It's kind of shiny. And it's not the biggest deal ever. A buried alive match you could use this for. Something you can conk somebody in the head with. Not really an accessory you see a lot of anymore. The shovel. I know we've had a couple here and there, but the shovel accessory is something you don't get a lot of, man. Buried alive match. I need to bring that gimmick back. That is a forgotten match type that I miss a lot. That is something I'd like to see. Another accessory we have here is the urn here. You can put this with your Undertakers, your Paul Bears, whatever you want to do there, but it is an oversized urn. It's not the gigantic one, but it is a bigger one. It's not the smaller sized one, and it looks pretty good. Good, solid sculpt to it and everything. Got a nice gold color on it, but nothing we haven't seen before. And then some of the newest accessories. We have three brand new accessories we've never seen before is this mini jar. Now, kind of upsetting that it won't open. You can't open it that I found. I mean, I guess you could open it if you really tried, but I do like the clearness of it, but I don't know really what it's for, I guess. You know, you just get a clear jar here, which I do like. I like little novelty accessories like this. It's just I don't really know what I can do with it, you know, because you can't open it. You can't really put anything in there, so it's just an empty jar. I guess you just bust somebody in the head with it like that. It's still cool nonetheless. I just think that it's odd. I don't I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it just yet, but I like I like it. I'd rather them include it than not include it. It's just odd. And then it also comes with a pizza cutter with a really nice sculpt here. You could use this for your hardcore matches. You know, the pizza cutter can it has become kind of popular on the indie scene and you know random deathmatch and hardcore matches alike here. And I really do like the pizza cutter. And it looks good. You know, it doesn't operate or anything, but you could use it for figure photography. It's not, you know, it's not bloody or anything, but it does look good. I do like this and I'm glad to have it. I think this is my second pizza cutter. So if I ever want to use one, now I will have one with this pack. And last but not least, we do have one of the better accessories. It is the light tube and it is a short light tube as the focus tries to go out on me here, but it is a nice sculpt and everything, but they have a fully formed one here that's kind of short and then they do have a short version or a broken version. No blood on it, but there is a broken version, but it doesn't have two halves. So it has a whole one and then it has, you know, the other one here, but I guess when you break these, the other half just shatters into a million pieces. So I guess there really wouldn't be anything left of it. So I guess that's why it doesn't come with another half. But you get what I'm saying. You get half of one to poke people, and then you have one you can bust somebody over the head with. All right, man, so here are some of the accessories being held by people. Now, I will say the light tube, you can't hold this shish, man. It's too skinny. It's too thin. It will not be held by anybody, but the rest of them are pretty good, I'd say. Still pretty confused on the jar. Again, I like it. It's just random. It kind of reminds me of, like, Danhausen's jar of teeth or something. But I don't know. You can't take the top off, and it's not breakaway. It's just kind of like a desk accessory at this point. But I don't know. Maybe 
Maybe I'm wrong. You could tell me what you would do with it. I don't know. Maybe you'd fill it full of teeth of your enemies. I don't know. Nonetheless, man, if you guys want to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS. I think it's a pretty cool set. I think you get some bonus stuff out of this. And it's not a perfect set by any stretch, but I think for the value that you get, I think that, you know, if you're going to order on Ringside for Christmas or you're going to order anything, man, it's just like a nice little stocking stuffer gift to put in there to add into your pickups. You know what I mean? And you use code MDTOYS. Say you think of it like this. Say you go over to Ringside and you spend like 200 bucks worth or 150 bucks worth or whatever you're doing there and you, you you add this on top of it use code MD toys and it'll basically like take it'll basically like give you this as as a free gift at the end there so that's kind of what you can look at it as maybe but I'm getting the hell out man hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know your thoughts on this set down in the comment section below if you're grabbing it not grabbing it all those things but I like it it's quality you guys know I love weapons and stuff so huge shout out to our Patreon members man appreciate you fellas thank you guys so very much for everything you guys are incredible and I appreciate you every single day man but I'm getting out I hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below I'll see you guys next time we have a big video coming this week that i'm excited about man so it should be great but i'm getting out i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll catch you guys later